On the face of it, the European banking industry looks to be in a solid position. So is this finally a respite from the turmoil of the 2008 financial crisis? Unfortunately not. And on the global stage, European banks are still facing upheaval and are steadily losing ground to their US counterparts. To understand this crisis, we interviewed 300 senior leaders from incumbent European banks, challenger banks and fintech firms to gauge the major threats that are facing the industry through to 2023. Here are the four we identified. 1. Diminishment. The introduction of PSD2 is providing new entrants with a lower cost to entry and access to incumbents' customer data, which is disrupting the competitive landscape and diminishing banks' previous dominant position. 2. Displacement. Challenges and fintechs are now displacing banks' interaction with consumers through mobile applications, digital and physical points of payment, and in entire services such as foreign exchange. 3. Disintermediation. The doomsday scenario that strikes fear into the heart of all incumbent boardrooms. Blockchain, through its highly secure nature, is lowering the risk and therefore the cost to entry to new entrants in the areas of payments, clearing and settlement, fundraising, securities, and loans and credits. 4. Destruction. But the one apocalyptic threat to banking is set to come from outside the industry. A recent survey showed that should digital unicorns like Alibaba, Google and Facebook enter the banking world, then one in three global customers would consider using their services. But hope is at hand. Early leaders from incumbent banks are providing us with a new banking genome, which we believe can be used to build resiliency in an uncertain future. First, make culture your priority. Does your culture encourage a strategic mindset? Encourage collaboration? Innovate rapidly? If not, then the rest of the new banking genome won't stick and vast investments in digital transformation and open ecosystem development will be lost if your people aren't on board. Second, double down on API architecture. API architecture is now mandated, so don't simply treat this as a tick box exercise, but instead identify how APIs can extend business value in internal projects and through external collaboration with partners. Third, Focus on the four technology pills. Advanced data analytics and robotic process automation should at least be in the pilot phase, whilst initial testing on artificial intelligence and blockchain should be next in the list. Fourth, embrace the open marketplace. Players in this industry are no longer operating in a siloed fashion. Instead, fintechs, challengers and incumbents can utilize each other's IP and data through white labeling or partnership models. This is defining banking in Europe today and will heavily impact incumbents moving forward. If not properly handled, the threats we've identified can diminish, displace, disintermediate, and even destroy incumbent banks. So only a drastic mindset and technology shift will keep them relevant and resist disruption. But as with all threats, therein lies opportunity.